welcome to Summer Farms where we do a sum of this and a sum of that. I'm Heather and today I wanted to make sure to let you know that I didn't quit. I didn't disappear. Nothing. I have just been so incredibly busy. As you all know, I have the two toddlers, which is really hard when you're doing this by yourself and you have two littles to take care of. Um, but it is it was just Memorial Day weekend, and I still haven't even finished getting all my plants in the ground. Um, today is kind of a rainy, yucky day, so I figured I need to finish this video. Um, I will have more updating planting videos coming up, but today I wanted to talk about it's springtime, and my favorite thing about spring is all the babies. Babies, 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 babies. And with our chickens, that means that their egg production is just completely, incredibly out of control. So what do we do with all those eggs? In fact, today I just now collected 22 eggs for today. Um, and I mean, that's, you know, that's basically what I'm getting on a norm. Um, take a look at this. See this guys, it is full and it's been rainy on and off so these eggs are incredibly clean but not too bad. Um, yeah, this isn't today's um, worth but it's only a couple days worth of eggs. I have eggs in this. I have an egg basket, um, like I think from Tractor Supply. That's full. I have... Um, a big plastic Tupperware container, no lid, but that's mounted over, and I have my kids' plastic bucket. So what do we do with all these eggs? Well, <clears throat> there's a lot of videos on what to do with all the eggs, but I want to cover some of the ones that you don't normally hear of a little more in depth. So, of course, you know, I mean, first thing that comes to mind is, well, you eat them. You know, there's plenty of recipes and everything that, you know, call for eggs. Some, you know, recipes that call for a lot of eggs, like if you're doing, you know, deviled eggs or an egg salad, you know, those always use a lot of eggs. My son just had his first birthday party. And the cake that I used, um... um you know, I wanted to make sure that it was good enough for stacking, so that used five, five eggs. Um, you know, there's plenty of other things, you know, I don't know, like custards and different quiche. You know, all those things use a lot of eggs, but I mean, there's only so much of that stuff that you can bake. You can eat bread, eggs for breakfast and everything. I, I'm not even going to go into all of that. As you can look up a ton of recipes that use a lot of eggs, you know, for you. Um, and you can eat them right away or even some recipes and stuff that you can, you can freeze them. Um, you don't want to freeze like egg salad, but you can certainly freeze like a quiche and, you know, eat it for later, you know, or even in winter when you're not getting a lot, you know, so you can preserve what you're making too. Um, one of the things that I just learned you could do that I never even heard of, so I had to try it, was smoking eggs in a smoker. And I was like, well, this is cool. Let's, you know, give it a shot. So I did. Hi. All right, so we got the chicken in there. Chicken. That's right, chicken. And now we're going to put the butter in there because that's what? right. We smoked the butter too. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? Chicken. Well, in this story, chicken. the chicken did. Chicken. Yeah, the chicken. We're going to eat that later. That's right. Let's close it. So this is what I'd like to do the rub in, just in case anyone was wondering. Yeah. And then came the eggs. 18 eggs to be exact. 
I shut it down less because I've never done this before, so I'm not sure how they're gonna taste. But whenever I'm running this smoker, especially because it's electric, I want to make sure that I fill it up and get it, <clears throat> make it worth it. And I forgot to mention that, hold on honey, hold on sweetie, no, hold on, that we are smoking it with maple today just because that's what I happen to have open. Hi. You're saying hi? Hi. Okay. And they're done. The butter smoked and the chicken should be done too. There's some burnt spots on that. That's all right. That is pretty cool. Now we'll crack them open and see what they taste like. Here it is getting its shot of smoked butter goodness. So I know this is a egg video, but like I said, I want to fill up the smoker. So we did the smoked chicken too. And yes, I do know that this chicken is upside down. Unfortunately, I didn't realize it at the time. Um, the first time I had a chicken on a can, like a, to prop it up. So I was a bit thrown off. So anyways, this is what the chicken looked like when it was all done. You can see the smoked butter melting out the sides. If anyone is interested in the recipe, it is on the Bradley Smoker website. And I just kind of modified it a little bit to my own likings. But the, for the gist of it, the recipe is on there. And so this is what they look like when they came out of the smoker. They're still in their shell. Remember, these went in there raw. And this is what it looks like when you start to peel them. I was kind of fascinated that it kept that smoky color even through the shell. And finally, this is what they look like when they're completely peeled. Now, I don't actually eat hard-boiled eggs or in this case smoked eggs um, so my husband tried it and you know he said it, he, it was different but he liked it and a friend of mine really liked it and my husband brought them to work and a friend of his at work um, liked it as well so he had to go and do his own smoked eggs so I thought that was kind of funny. So let me know if you guys have ever tried smoked eggs or if you're going to try. Um, you know, if you tried it, let me know how you liked it. I'm curious to see what others think. And so that's how you can preserve your eggs one way. And when I'm talking about preservation, I mean, there's obviously different lengths that you can extend the life of whatever food it is. Um some other methods just because this is a video about all the different things that you can do about it i'm just going to briefly go through the list of the different ways you can preserve eggs one of the more you know well-known ways right now um, is the water glassing there is a bajillion videos on youtube about water glassing yeah sorry he just woke up so he wanted to say hi can you say hi can you say hi Hi. No, we just want to make noises. Okay. Well, um, yeah, so there's a bajillion ways uh, <laughs> of, you know, water glassing. Um, I just tried it myself because I've never done it before. In fact, one of the ways I learned about it was through YouTube. Oh, now you're going to say hi. Okay. Um, so I did try it and, um, 
just one thing quickly that I wanted just to mention is that if you're going to try any of these new things, don't do a whole bunch of, um, of eggs, you know, start with something small for, um, for example, you know, with the water glassing, there are some people that are doing it in, you know, five gallon buckets. I am not going to waste that many eggs if something should get go wrong. So a lot of them suggest even three gallons. I did it even smaller than that. I had a half gallon glass jars and I, I, I did it in those. So if something should go wrong, I don't know. I didn't count how many eggs I put in there, but it's a very small amount compared to five gallons of eggs. Um, you know, and I, I did see on there that even more seasoned people have sometimes things go wrong. So, um, I'll probably do one more half gallon and that's probably it. Cause there was also a kind of a thing where some people like the taste, you know, and they like swear by it. And then other people were like, yeah, you know, not so much. So, and that was the same thing that I found with like freezing your eggs or even freeze drying your eggs is sometimes people liked the flavor and sometimes they did not. Um, so it's one of those things where I'm gonna have to, um, you know, play around with it and see what I like. Oh, and the other one too is dehydrating the eggs too. Um, so I'll play around with it and, you know, see which ones I like, you know, and you, you can do the same, pick and choose what you think might work for you. Um, we already talked about hard boiling, um, but there's also pickling your eggs, um, and my husband really enjoys these a lot. So I do these a lot, um, and these are kind of cool because they, you know, can last, uh, I think, like up to six months in your refrigerator. So, or actually, I saw one person that. It doesn't even put it in the refrigerator so it's up to you by the way if you hear uh, squawking and everything in the background it's because the guinea hens are in because it's raining really hard and they are not quite fully feathered yet so they cannot be outside permanently just yet as much as I love babies there comes to be a point where I'm just like get out of my house and we are definitely at that way with them. But okay, so moving on, there's also, you can coat it in mineral oil. Yes, he is a bird man. He loves his birdies. Um, you can also use butter if you don't want to use mineral oil or lard, but just know that, you know, butter or lard at some point is going to go rancid where mineral oil is not likely to um and i just wrote notes here but all you're gonna do is you're just gonna coat them in the mineral oil or whatever you choose to do um and then you're just gonna flip them um monthly and these are gonna store up to nine months you know as long as the temperature in the room stays about 65 no higher than 85 degrees in Fahrenheit you know or if you put them in the fridge they can stay a lot longer than that so um, I haven't tried this yet I don't know if I will um, but I you know it's in the back of my mind in case you know I need other ways of, of preserving my eggs um, there's also salting eggs which I thought was kind of interesting again not something that I have tried uh, but this technique comes from China, um, and it's a way that they preserve their eggs for many, many, many years. So you are preserving this in salt, um, and it's used for, like, cooking later. I'm assuming not something that you want to go fry an egg or poach an egg or, you know, scramble it up. It's something that you're going to actually, like, cook with later. There's another method that comes from Asia, and it's the thousand-year-old eggs. I definitely, this doesn't sound appealing to me, um, but it is definitely another option that you have for preserving your eggs. Um, I mentioned pickled eggs. You could also ferment your eggs, um, and I did do this, and um, again, I don't eat hard-boiled eggs, so like I couldn't be a judge of the flavor on this, but my husband said that they were kind of bland. They weren't 
what he was expecting. So, um, but again, you can, you can ferment the eggs. Um, you can also make pasta and this, I definitely is, is on my list, um, to do. Um, so you're, usually when I make pasta, I'm making it fresh so that I will eat it fresh. Um, but making pasta this way, you can dry it out and use it for later. Um, just, you know, keep in mind with the different stuff that you put in there, um, you know, and how long it'll, it'll stay for. So, but definitely something on my list. You could also make an egg liqueur with it, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, there is a, yes, that's your shark. Mm -hmm. You want to show everybody your shark? <clears throat> He's going to show you his shark. Um, there's a peat moth, bleh. there is a peat moth method, um, which is a method you just preserve it in peat moss and it, the natural, um, yeah. acidic in the peat moss, it, it helps preserve it. Um, and this came from over in Europe, so... Again, I don't think I'm going to try it, but I'll keep it in the back of my, my brain for later. Should, you know, should I need it? And we just have a couple more. Um, you could also preserve it in wood ash. Um, you can preserve eggs in oats or bran. And then there's also um, wax, or you can use parfum or um, beeswax. And you just coat it to prevent it from spoiling. I don't think that I would really want to use wax to do eggs, especially when there's, you know, that long list of other ways to preserve eggs. Um, I definitely would want to save my, my beeswax and, and that for, you know, something else. But again, it's an option out there if you're over inundated with beeswax then by all means you know hey give it a shot you know see what happens so those are pretty much all the different preservation methods that I have found so leave me a message and let me know if you have found anything different or if there was something that you tried and you really liked um, you know let me know I'll be interested to see what everybody says all right well that's it I will see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Well, now, before I could finish editing this video, I've heard from at least two different people that they are planning on egg prices going up to a dollar each egg. So that would be $12 a carton. Um, so since I'm in the process of making this video, I was like, wow. So something to consider, you might want to, you know, say, look into more ways of preserving the eggs, your eggs, you know, preserving them for a long term um, until you can, you know, keep on replenishing your eggs, which also brings me to um, incubating your eggs. I actually have chicks that are in the process of hatching right now in my incubator. So if you hear a little peeping, um, that's what's going on so that I can continue to have eggs because don't forget you know they take a while they won't be start laying till fall if I'm lucky um, you know if not you know next year laying eggs for me so you want to keep replenishing your own chickens for laying eggs or for meat both um, and you want to make sure that you're you're preserving your eggs because who in their right mind is gonna pay $12 a carton really I don't think so uh, I'm gonna you know definitely do more preserving I mean yes I still sell some eggs and everything like that but I'm gonna make sure that uh, you know obviously my family comes first and that we have the eggs that we're gonna need because uh, I'm not paying that um, so again you know just a couple other ways incubate if you have a broody hen you know and you have a ton of eggs already let them try to go broody. I know that's what I'm, you know, doing right now with one of mine. I have one broody hen in there that, you know, because it's warmer weather now and everything, I'm, and I have a, a, a plenty of eggs, I'm just, okay, well, you know, do your thing. Let's see if they hatch. You know, let's see if you can, 
do it yourself because that would be wonderful if I didn't have to use electricity to, you know, make more chicks. Um, so there's that. I mean, you can also sell chicks too, but you know, make sure you take care of you and your family first. So that's it. Just wanted to quickly note that, you know, so preserve, preserve, family comes first. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. See, see you later. Yeah, yeah. Say love you. Yeah.